नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेशन 48 एट इन अवर कोर्स ऑन ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट एंड एज इट इज़ वेरी क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू करंटली वी आर इन टेंथ वीक ऑफ अवर डिस्कशन एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू सी to understand the processes the approaches the philosophies which can help us to better manage our operations and one of the important techniques is the total productive maintenance now in the previous session if you remember we have seen the total quality management and prior to that we have tried to understand the concept of quality now how these things are interrelated and how these things are important from the point of view of operations management we can see that why we are doing the operations why we are doing the business activity in order to produce some tangible outputs and these outputs have to be of good quality then only the company will survive in the market then only the company will grow in the market so the quality of our products and services is very very important and as operations manager it becomes our responsibility we are accountable for that that we are producing a good quality product now in order to produce a good quality product our operations must be smooth our operations must be very very effective they must be efficient they must be productive whatever activity we are doing must reflect in the quality of our product and we have seen that the concept of total quality management is a plant wide organization wide factory wide concept it is not a maybe local domain concept or maybe specific to a particular department so all people should have this culture of ensuring quality of whatever activities they are doing or whatever operations they are conducting or whatever inspections they are doing so the quality culture is very 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 important in any organization now coming on to the total productive maintenance suppose we have a set of 50 different machines which are working on a particular product if maybe some of the machines are under breakdown or are under maintenance the overall system performance will suffer so we have to ensure that all our machines and equipment are up and running as per our planned production schedule so if some of the machines are not functioning properly our productivity will definitely suffer so we have to ensure we have to make it possible that we do maintenance of our machines at regular time intervals whatever is prescribed for a particular machine so that the process is smooth the operations are continuous our production is continuous and we are able to produce a right quality product at right time in right quantity as per the customer requirements and therefore the total preventive maintenance is one such strategy which will help companies to evolve a better maintenance policy or a better maintenance schedule which will help the company in ensuring that all the machines are up and running as per the requirement as per the plan and the company produces the products to satisfy the customer demands so we will try to understand in a very brief manner the concept of total productive maintenance because we have allocated 30 minutes of discussion maximum on total productive maintenance so we will have a overview of the concept of tpm and much details are possible in this particular concept so i will just introduce you to the concept and all the learners can see that where all they can progress what all they can study in further detail in order to will clearly understand the concept of tpm in order to have a good grasp over the concept of tpm so let us start our discussion so total productive maintenance you can see first thing is total 
that is participation of all employees as we have seen in total quality management also that word total means participation of everybody involved in the operations everybody who is a part of the organization so it includes the whole it includes everybody includes all departments operations equipment and process then coming on to productive which means pursue the maximize uh, pursue the maximization of efficiency of the production system by making all loss losses as zero now what are the losses maybe we can say that accidents must be zero defects in the product must be zero breakdown of the machine must be zero so total means everybody is involved productive means that we have to ensure that our defects are zero our accidents are zero our breakdowns are zero so total productive maintenance total and productive we have understood and min maintenance we it is our endeavor to improve the efficiency of the equipment so maintenance means that the entire life cycle of the production system is under our investigation under our may be purview and we have to ensure that for the entire life cycle of the system the system is up and running barring the scheduled maintenance activity when we stop the process and we do some maintenance maintenance is not only to repair and maintain the machines but it also has to ensure that the machines are running during their actual production activity so we have seen that total productive and maintenance are the three things that make up this concept of tpm that is total productive maintenance now history of uh, tpm tpm is an innovative japanese concept origin of tpm can be tracked back to 1951 so nippodenso of the toyota group was the first company to introduce plant wide preventive maintenance in 1960s so this is just a brief history now let us define the concept of tpm what is what actually tpm is so tpm is a set of activities as we have seen the total quality management is a process it is an approach similarly tpm that is total productive maintenance is a set of activities now what is the aim of these activities for restoring equipment to its optimal condition and changing the work environment to maintain those conditions through daily maintenance activities so basically these are the activities which ensure that the machines are working as per the plan so there is no breakdown of the machine there is no accident because of the breakdown of the machine so all that has to be ensured so these are set of act act activities for restoring equipments to its optimal condition or optimal operating condition so we have to ensure that whatever are the optimal conditions or optimal operating conditions for the equipment we have to ensure that the machine operates under those conditions only now how that is possible that is possible if we maintain them as per the schedule similarly changing the work environment to maintain those conditions so we have to see that how we can modify our environment to ensure that the machines operate at their optimal conditions or the equipment operates at their optimal condition through daily maintenance activity so sometimes we may for some of the machines we may go for daily maintenance for some of the equipment we may go for weekly maintenance if there is a big plant we may go even for a half yearly maintenance activity also so all that is scheduled maintenance as per the standard operating procedure as soon as you buy or you set up a big plant for example a cement manufacturing plant so it may have its maintenance policy that how each and every equipment after how much time an equipment has to be serviced and equipment has to be 
brought under maintenance. Similarly, for a thermal power generation plant, there will be a maintenance policy for each and every equipment, for boiler, for turbine, whatever are the constituents of that big system, there will be a maintenance policy for each and every part of that system and which will be scheduled as per the standard operating procedure as per the maintenance policy being followed for that plant. So, here that policy has to be followed in principle has to be followed religiously so that we are able to keep our system up and running. Now, what are the objective? Why do we need to focus so much on this maintenance activities? Why? Because we want to increase the production while at the same time increasing employee morale and job satisfaction. So, we have to ensure that the machines are up and running, our production increases at, at the same time the employees are also happy, their morale is high and they are satisfied with the jobs that they are doing. Hold emergency and unscheduled maintenance to a minimum. As I have already been highlighting that each and every industry will have a scheduled maintenance policy. So, TPM objectives are if we are following the TPM, our objective is that emergency and unscheduled maintenance activity must be reduced to a minimum or we can say that must be zero. We must only follow the scheduled maintenance policy which has been laid out for the organization. Another objective is to provide the safe and good working environment to the worker. As well as what we have already seen, the TPM objectives are to achieve zero defects, zero breakdown and zero accidents in all functional areas of the organization. So, it has to be ensured that there is no accident happening because of the breakdown of the machine or because of the breakdown of any equipment. The defects are zero because sometimes the product, product that we are manufacturing may be defective because the machine is not operating properly. So, that also has to be ensured because indirectly it will affect the quality of the product also. In, in fact, I must say directly it will affect the quality of the product and the accidents have to be minimum. Now, involve people at all levels of organization as we have already seen in case of total quality management similarly in total productive maintenance also we have to ensure that the concept or the activities involve everybody in the organization. So, form different teams to reduce the defects, ensure self-maintenance to fulfill the regulatory compliances. So, maybe if we are operating for example and ropeway maybe from one station to another station, there will be a regulatory order that every month you have to check all these important installations and make a daily report or make a diary that these things have been checked and found well in well under the operating conditions or operating environment. So, you have a diary or you have to manage a log book in which you will enter all the vital parameters for the important installations used for operating and ropeway. So, there are regulatory compliances which will enforce a company to go for total productive maintenance. Now, there are 8 pillars of total productive maintenance on the right hand side you can see the taken from the slide share. 5S autonomous maintenance, concept of Kaizen, planned maintenance, quality maintenance, training, office TPM, safety, health and environment. So, if we maybe build a strong foundation. If we are strong in these eight pillars, our systems will not have to undergo unscheduled or accidental maintenance. Our systems will be 
maintained under scheduled maintenance activities only and the system will be highly productive and will be uh, having a continuous production which will help the company to make a lot of profit. So, here we can see 8 pillars we can take into account. So, friends, it is difficult to explain all these important aspects in context of TPM in a very short duration that we have with us. But 5S and Kaizen are the two important topics which are covered in most of the UG curriculum. So, we can see that 5S is Japanese terms which are Siri, Siyoton, Sisos, Siketsu and Sisuke and here we can see the English meaning of these five terms. In English these means sort, systemize, sweep, standardize or standardization and self discipline. So, 5S also is one of the important pillars of total productive maintenance. Similarly, Kaizen means continuous improvement which we have already seen in case of total quality management that we always we have to strive for improving our systems, our processes in such a way that we are continuously improving the quality that we are offering to our customers. So, Kaizen and 5S we have seen that these can help us to ensure the impl implementation of TPM in our organization. Now, what can be the TPM targets? So, the targets can be obtain minimum 80 percent overall production efficiency, obtain minimum of 90 percent overall equipment effectiveness from quality point of view operate in a manner so that there are no customer complaints. So, we have as I have already told you that the quality of the product is directly proportional to the maintenance of our machines and equipment. If our machines and equipment are not properly maintained, the quality that we are producing may not be as per the desired specification or we can say the conformance to specification will not be honored. So, therefore, the maintenance of equipment is equally important from the quality point of view. Similarly, the cost from cost point of view the target of TPM is to reduce the manufacturing cost as much as possible. So, if there is avoidance of unscheduled maintenance, if we can avoid the accidents, if we can avoid the unscheduled as well as the maybe uh, unnecessary maintenance activity for the equipment, we can definitely save lot of cost and which will help us to be more productive from the economical point of view. So, we can see the production from the production point of view obtain minimum 80 percent overall production efficiency and 90 percent of overall equipment effectiveness. So, we have to see this is the uh, percentage is given in terms of efficiency and effectiveness. So, we can say that production efficiency 80 percent means that we are able to achieve our targets at least at least it is given minimum 80 percent it can even be higher and our target can be maybe sometimes higher as high as 90 percent of the production efficiency. Sometimes one of the targets even can be that we have to give a rest to the machine so that we are able to operate effectively and efficiently with a break to the machine and after the rest period for the machine we feel that the machines maintain main machines wear and tear can be minimized. But on the contrary, we have to ensure with the scheduled maintenance of machines and equipment even that during the lunch time also the machine may be functional and operating. So, that also that is our target that we can ensure we must ensure that the machine is available for producing the products and in order in uh, in maybe we can say in subsequent to that we can say that further improving our production efficiency. So, if we can even ensure the use of machine for the maximum period of time by the planned maintenance, our production efficiency can further be focused upon and can be improved in many cases. 
Now, from delivery point of view, we have to achieve 100 percent success in delivering the goods as required by the customer. From safety point of view, our target must be that maintain an accident free environment. From multitasking point of view, develop multi skilled and flexible workers. So, we can see that TPM targets is TPM is not only focused on reducing the maintenance activity within the organization, but TPM is focused on improving the production improving the production efficiency, improving the equipment effectiveness, ensuring the quality, minimizing the cost, ensuring delivery, ensuring safety as well as ensuring multitasking of the workers. So, it has got a wide dimensions where the TPM has got its footprints. Now, what we can see is the major losses in production line and organization. So, we can see first and foremost is the failure loss or the breakdown loss. Every company want each and every machine to be working barring the scheduled maintenance part because everything requires maintenance. If we take an example of human body, human body also requires maintenance. We sleep in the night and work during the day. Many times people go out for vacations just to give relaxation not only to the mind but also to the body. So, every working machine requires some kind of maintenance. But the maintenance must be a scheduled maintenance. We decide when we have to go on the vacations. It is not something accidental. So, accidental maintenance where we are forced to stay indoor that has to be avoided because somebody has fallen ill, he has to stay at home for 5 days. So, that cannot be called as a planned vacation, it is an accidental vacation. Similarly, for machines also there will be a planned maintenance where the machine will not be working and everything all the maintenance activity related to that machine will be done. On, on the contrary, there can be accidental maintenance where the machine has broken down or machine is not functioning properly and the people involved from the maintenance department are working on the machine to make it up and running. So, the first type of loss is that all of a sudden the machine breakdowns and is out of order and is not producing thereby affecting the production efficiency of the production line. Setup and adjustment losses, cutting blade losses. So, suppose while operating the blade breaks down, maybe it is a kind of a loss, it is broken, startup loss, minor stoppage, idling losses, speed loss, the machine is not operating at its optimal speed, but is at operating at a lower speed because has not been maintained properly, defect or rework losses are there, scheduled downtime losses are there, yes that has to be there because it is a scheduled maintenance, management loss, operating motion loss, line organization loss, logistics loss, measurement and adjustment loss, energy loss. So, there is a long list of losses in the production line and organization. So, our target of total productive maintenance is that we have to ensure that these losses are to a minimum possible extent or they lead to minimum possible breakdown of our production line. So, we have to ensure the minimization of these losses in order to make our organization better, a better organization, an efficient organization, a successful organization, a su profitable organization. So, if the losses are under control, the organization will automatically be successful. Now, how we can do this? We can do this with the help of the concept of total productive maintenance. Because if we apply the concept of 
PPM, we will definitely get number of benefits. So, we will have it will lead to increased employee morale, increased productivity. How it will lead to increased productivity? When all the machines are up and running, the productivity will definitely be higher. There is no unscheduled maintenance, there is no accidental or breakdown maintenance. So, the productivity automatically is going to be higher. Similarly, improved sharing and working as a team because as we have already seen that this concept is a company wide concept, it is not an individual machine specific concept. So, it will develop uh, the maintenance will be a collective responsibility of the team. Improved tidiness and cleaning of the working place, the, if you ensure that under TPM activity, the overall benefits are will be there for everybody to see. Improved product quality, if machines are operating under their op optimal conditions, they will definitely turn out a good quality product. Improved customer satisfaction, so if you are offering a good product to a customer, he will definitely be satisfied, costs will be less improved delivery time, enhanced safety records which means the accidents will be less if the machines are maintained properly, improved image, so the brand image of the company will improve and the reputation in the end of the company will improve. So, in nutshell to summarize what we have tried to cover today is that when we are managing our operations, Maintenance plays a very important role and this maintenance must be total productive maintenance. It must be everybody's responsibility. The maintenance policy of the company must be well laid out. We have to maintain a logbook for each and every maintenance activity within the organization. We have to check any unplanned or accidental maintenance so that that is brought to be minimum, zero risk, zero defect, maybe zero accidental breakdown. So, we want to ensure that the total productive maintenance concept, the philosophy, the activities under TPM must be religiously adopted and followed so that we derive all the benefits that are listed on your screen. I do understand that in the brief 25 to 27 minutes period that we have covered this topic, it is not adequate. So, in order to have better understanding of the concept of TPM, I would advise readers to read the text that is available on internet or look for good textbooks on maintenance and maintenance strategies and try to grasp the concept in much more detail because the ex actual policies, the pillars of TPM, whatever we have seen today, everything needs to be understood in much more detail, in much more depth in order to control the maintenance policy or in order to control the maintenance activity of an organization. So, with this we close the today's session. Thank you.